Hello everybody and welcome back to A Link to the Past. I am Rufo, playing this game for you. Woo! Magic flames will protect us inside this icy dungeon. What's the Hasrala talking about? Well, either the fire rod or the magic of Bombos, as both of those are magical flames. And both work. Protect us from what? Well, those guys specifically. Most of the rest of stuff can be handled pulled with other spells. Aha! But now we get introduced to ice physics, and the ice in in Link to the Past is quite annoying, but not for the usual reasons. It's for something completely arbitrary. The entrance for doors is very finicky and pixel perfect. And on when you're and when you're standing on ice, Link doesn't really correct himself so as as much for getting into the doors. So that's where a lot of the trouble comes from. We have a compass. Where's our evil old master? All right. Oh boy. All the way down. Well, fortunately, that uh, it's not as big as as it would lead to uh, as it might lead you to think, because the floors in this place aren't aren't particularly huge. Like that, punks. Ooh, thank you. Get in that door. Get in there. I didn't go in the in the door on the other side because it's just a dead end. Yes, there's stairs that lead down, but we can't reach them. We have to find an alternative way down. Out of the way, punks. It will involve that crumbly floor over there, as I'm sure you you figured you figured out. Whee! This floor here does not break. Aha! Pick that punk! You cannot destroy the skeleton knight with a sword. It collapses. Use another weapon. Which in this case would be bombs. I don't know if there's another weapon that works, but uh, bombs work quite well. And with good yeah, with good knowledge of his spawn positions, you can really take advantage of it. I like punks. Thank you. And coming up is will be a the demonstration as to why we had to leave the spheres on the orange. Because we just need them to be orange. In order to in order to progress. Woohoo! Pretty much always that simple. Thank you. I'll take it. This button here, all it does is open the door. We don't care about that, we care about going deeper. And setting fire to things. Take that, punks. Ooh, thank you for the magic. Well then. I suppose... Oh, well, we don't really need to go that way yet. The way we really want to go is just past that. Is just past this guy. Although we could... Although we could go uh, into the other room and... Uh, actually, no, that doesn't help us at all. Going into... Going down the stairs in the other room just causes everything to take longer. So yes, use this way down. Ah. Do not use your magic power if you do not possess the medicine and magic. Well, I got plenty of that. Get ready to go into the depths of this dungeon. Have you noticed what floor I'm on? Uh, 
It's nothing of value to the South, so we'll just take our leave. As for dealing with these guys, just stand in position and keep using the hook shot till it actually goes. Aha! Take that, punks! Out of the way, you too. These cracks! Meaningless. Ignore them. Something to goad you into wasting a bomb. Aha! What we got here? Well, that key looks useful. That punk. Now then. Woo! Box. And nothing to open the door. Or so you would think. Let's take this tongue. The door opens right up. Hooray, we have a map. See? Floors aren't that big. Fortunately. But for the moment, we need to continue going up. What do we find up here? It's our key! Hooray! All the way near the top. Now, we could go back down the same way we did before, but that's actually quite a bit slower. So we won't do that, we'll just go back the way we came. See your tongue, bud. Aha! Take this key, and we'll go through this door. Now we'll get now we'll cope with the part where the ice is at its most irritating. These stairs are incredibly difficult to get down, unless you're positioned exactly perfectly. There we go. And for any who may have been wondering, yes, Bombos works just fine on these guys. Place that there. Take these bombs, and then we'll go down this side. Aha! And now, for a magic trick. My shirt is blue. Aha! Thus we have the blue, the blue mail, which is akin to the blue ring from the first, from the first game. We now take half damage is useful because we've already noticed things in in the dark world do a lot of damage now before we go into that into the big key door we need that we need that small key yeah now We'll see a puzzle downstairs that uh, ultimately if we'll be switching the blocks and we'll need to get that particular block down, push down the hole, which involves going in a sizable loop through the, unex through the uh, unexplored areas to the, to the left and to the right and just upstairs. I'm not going to do those because I have a means of just making blocks. Also, if you fall down those holes, you can you can gain access to fairies. Useful if you need them. In fact, I suppose in theory, I didn't even need to go and pick up the the uh, key from the room upstairs. Because 
this room over here is pretty optional with the pathway I'm taking. You don't need to go in here, but... Meh. It gets us magic. Oh yes, the whole puzzle is for er, pushing a pushing down a block, it will land here, and then we push it onto the switch to hold the door open. But since I have this, we're just going. Aha! Out of the way, punks! Woo. Came in here too early, there's how you open the door. But we didn't come in here early. We just want the loot. Oh. Aha! Go down and do battle using our magical fire. All of the magical fire. on the seventh floor was the boss. I suppose technically the fairies are, are down here, but we didn't go see them. We came to see the lady in the green dress. Oh, you are so welcome. Oh, yeah? Were they any good? Oh, we lost it. Well, that sucks. Courage of the Knights with the wisdom of the wise men. A short time remains till the... Hooray! Someone who actually believes in us! I understand. We have work to do. And we are motivated. First thing first. Need to go refill that bottle for one. Off we go! Yay! Now, before we head up Death Mountain, it's time to go pay a visit to the bomb shop. Of course, the bomb shop's in the Dark World, so... Go figure, we need to go to the Dark World. Aha! Alright. Why the bomb shop? Well, because we've we've rescued the the two ladies, the two girls in the green dresses. So this guy has new inventory. Important new inventory at that. I also stuck a new super bomb. We're only a hundred rupees. Please buy that too, Mister. I definitely don't need don't need the thirty bombs, but I will take your super bomb. Thank you very much. Drop this off anywhere. Just press the A button. In other words, push the dash button. Please don't forget it. Yes. And the super bomb is also the reason I thought that uh, you couldn't go cliff jumping with, with that locked box earlier. Because that leaves the super bomb behind. And as stated, 
can't go dashing either because that drops the bomb. So we'll have to walk all the way to the pyramid. This is the only place to use this thing. I have no idea if the super bomb even does damage to enemies. I shall see my skepticism shortly beyond that one. But, first we have to actually arrive. Aha! There it is! We shall leave the bomb here. We'll stay here and just guard it. Why not? What could go wrong? See? It doesn't hurt. I'm not sure if it'll hurt enemies. Woo! Pond. Let's throw something in. Let's throw a sword. Aha! Take that, Master Sword. Get you washed off. I oh, gosh. Um, hi. Yes? Thank you. Um... Er. Did I see that correctly? Ah, uh, let's throw our bow in. Oh, no, I was not seeing things. Uh, yes I did, ma'am. Yay? We'll give you something important. Silver arrows! Give Ganon his last moment. You will need them. Uh, yeah, you. Uh, I noticed you don't have you don't have that figure. Oh, you blame Ganon, right? Hooray! Another excuse to go beat up Ganon. I'll take it. Complete with this upgrade. Silver arrows actually do more damage than their standard counterparts, so that is a damage upgrade. Let's get out of here. We may proceed to climb a mountain. All the way up the mountain! Watch out! Mind the big rocks! Yeah! Run! Okay. Now, theoretically, the fastest way up the mountain is probably the same way we reach the Tower of Hera. But we'll, there's something else for us to investigate. It's right over here. Naturally. Need the hammer to get in, and need a lot of hit points in order to make it through. Fortunately, I have a lot of those. Whee! Hookshot helps, too. Cutting it a little close, but we made it all right. I'm not certain I have enough health to get back out. We did all that for the Cane of Berna. Which, uh... Swing it for a Ring of Light to protect you? I never found... I don't... Haven't seen a practical use for this thing. I've never really tried using it. Oh well. Let's get out of here. Whee! You may be wondering why I didn't do this on my way in. Well, the answer is quite simple. We don't have enough magic to go both ways. Oh well. Let's take the altern let's take an alternative path up the mountain. Which is probably the faster way up the mountain. Aha! This area over here that isn't accessible till we have a hook shot. Out of the way, punk. There's quite a few rupees to be found around here. You. 
I hate those guys. There's a path into the dark world if you prefer that path, if you prefer going about it that way. But, uh, well, there's, well, there's quite a lot of rupees hidden, hidden around, around this area. I'm not gonna bother getting them, because I don't need them. So, why waste the time, right? And that right there is, uh, in my opinion, the fastest way up the mountain. Let's take a single stairway. You may have noticed that piece of part over there? We are gonna go get it. In order to get it, we need to get back into the dark world. <laughs> ah! Go away, you little jerks. Aha! We arrive at Turtle Rock. Aptly named, I would think. There, our quake spell has served a purpose. Just like Ether did. Hooray! We're not going into Turtle Rock just yet. No. We're gonna go acquire that piece of heart. And I guess a whole bunch of money, because it's there. I'm going through an area where there's money, I might as well pick it up, I guess. You there, out of the way. Thank you. Going down. Ah! That is not how I wanted to cross there. <laughs> Whoops. Snatch! More snatch. Hello, way, punk. Your money is mine. Okay, fine. We'll go back. We'll take the expressway back. Now, are we gonna proceed forward? Well, very, very carefully. Oh. Okay. Aha. I just simply knew that the path branches to the right there. I've never really been able to follow it if I... I always end up falling off if I don't uh, use a method like... use a means like that of seeing where the ground is. I said that very awkwardly, but whatever. Big fairy for lots of healing! False wall on the... on the... or false cracks on, on the right in the previous room. So come over here, get and see some regular fairies. Because they'll do the job. And now we're at this island. Hooray! There's only one un piece of heart left. In theory. We will get it next time, when we go into Turtle Rock. We'll see you then. Later.